Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, uh, booze man? Are you are you tired of laying around yet, boozer? Hey, uh, you can't be in come here, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Uh, don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you, how was he doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, not good. Damn, it's cold. The They're not enough. <laughs> Never enough. Oh, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. <gasps> Look, all we can do is wait. Uh, okay. All right. Deacon. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's something I can do Deacon. about Deacon. this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. Well, you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look. <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Please. Just go home. Go home, Deacon. Deacon, Deacon. So, you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp, telling all kind of crazy stories. He said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland, only it never shows up. Huh. The plane was doing the haul for the Red Cross. The Red here. Cross. Yeah. My husband and I Getting it? bring the kids in. Medicine, every doctor we, shit, yeah. cargo hold yeah. full of it. That's Maybe so even some of those uh, anti you know, whatever the fuck. Antibiotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Just like that. Portland, Where? So this drifter. He's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. OK, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what's the Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak alike. Oh, shit. So you go over there and you get caught. You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest in peace goes... Okay, no, 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 like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. You remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive, like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. Yeah, Schizo, we can always count on you. Shit, no what? Anything's better than standing around this shithole. Yo, Deke. How's it going, man? Hey, Joe. Yep. Deke, take care now. Uh. 
here. Let me open the gate. Hey, St. John, you there? Yeah, Schizo, I'm here. Now that business we were talking about, it's gonna take me a bit. I gotta go check on security at the border with Iron Butte. Check on the Rippers there, if you know what I mean. Uh, no, Schizo, I don't got a clue. Why don't you spell it out for me? Nice try, smartass. Remember, I'm going out on a limb here. Don't make me regret it. Anyway, I'll be in touch real soon. In the meantime, make yourself useful around camp. Prove Iron Mike was right for a change. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. Whatever you say, St. John, out. St. John, where you at, brother? I'm here, Schizo, but I can look. Hey, no skin off my nose. Just doing what I can to help you grow. That business we discussed? Let's just say, uh, we should head out that way now. Oh, you mean the border with the rivers? Very funny. I meant no such thing. <laughs> All I said was, you were thinking about taking a ride? Or what do you drifters like to call it? Ride in the open road? Now would be a good time to do it. You got me? Yeah, Schizo, like always, I got you. St. John out. Ah, shit, someone needs help. Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe they should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning. Got it, Deacon out.
make something out of this. Come on, die already, you 
son of a bitch! There's gotta be something here. We're not, not now! Boundies. Bees will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deacon, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out of here. Uh, hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Ah. Sally Ricky, I don't have time for this right now. Wait! 
Let's take it. Behind him! You, you, right up the road. Make sure they don't come back. Now! Gunshots, what's going on? We had a run in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What's it? How? I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So, what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Skizzle were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. At that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great! So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, Iron Mike to go fuck himself, because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit maybe hasn't slept in days? reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just the same. Earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop! Addie, what's going on? Boozer? Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, we Not need to do arm. this and we need to do this right you now. What? No. Don't you. Oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no. De no, you're not. No way. No, you're not going to do this. Deacon, listen to me. The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is going to save the arm. Now, listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Addie, we're losing him. Wait! Deacon. All right. All right, all right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Dick. Dick. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness. Ah! No, 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 he's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the ball. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh, no. Boozer, come on, man. Come on. Hold him! Oh, you're okay, pal. Where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking I'm and hold him. Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> oh. And you. Hey, hey, okay. 
You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what? I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addie. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <clears throat> I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, God damn it. Who's there gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike. Wait up. Ryan, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. Oh, Brian out. Oh, Brian! Oh, God damn it. Oh, Brian. Come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, I, I need one of these tracking devices. Now. All right, spread out. No, don't, not this time. I'm already tracking this one. Follow the researcher. She's there to investigate an infected subject, the, the, the freak that was tagged in a nearby cave. A cave? You want me to follow armed Nero goons in? Brian, I'm still working on the info you want. Don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian, out. Sound off, people. They're over here. Lock down. Looks good to me. You sure we're locked down? Site checks complete. <laughs> Stay close there. Right, Oprah. Yeah. I never got 
Yeah, what? Easier said than done. Stage one, stage two, stage three thing. What do you mean? I mean, the virus is what it is, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Now let me... Okay. I know I'm a grunt. Before the freak show, I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show... The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking? More precisely, expressing a series of normally dormant proto-oncogenes into an active state. Cancer? Look at him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No, no, this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. Is that it? Is she done? Yeah. Okay, time to get the hell out of Dodge. What is she talking about? I'm right. About this virus, whatever the hell it is. I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Speaking up. Deacon, you there? Yeah, Ricky, what's up? I just wanted to say I'm, I'm sorry about what happened to Boozer. Yeah, probably not as sorry as he is. Look, Addy wanted you to know that if you had brought her that list tonight, Boozer would be in a hell of a lot more pain right now. Yeah, well, it just made it easier for you to carve him up. Anyway, I... We hope he makes it. He's my friend, too, you know? Hey, listen. Uh, thanks for bringing us in, Ricky. I, <clears throat> I gotta go. Deacon out.
Daddy. You there? Deke and St. John, the Lost Lake in front of me. Come back. Deke! Hey. Uh, I'm feeling a lot of it, you know. You okay? What's going on? Boozer. Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... I'm tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. I uh, take so much of his uh, truth and bullshit, you know? It's done, Boozer. It's done. It's over. Ah, uh, Deke. Uh, yeah, should be it. Sorry, I'm feeling, feeling a little woozy. Yeah. Uh, hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're out of bed fucking around. Yeah. Uh, hey, you're a monk. Uh, call my name. Lost like enough. Hey, listen, Boozer. Go. Some marauders, yeah, yeah. Go kill each other.
Hey, me again. So, uh, I took Boozer into the Lost Lake camp, and I know, <laughs> I know, I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all, but didn't have a choice. See, Boozer, Boozer was gonna die, and, uh, well, he still didn't want to go. Hell, I didn't want to go, but, like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um, he lost the arm anyway, and... And now he's stuck. I mean, we're stuck. Goddamn schizo. You know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was uh, gangbanging in Sacramento and Fresno. I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's, he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California to Oregon, and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team peddling sodas at a mini mart. Or, no, 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 man. He would have <laughs> he would have had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee. You know, making more in a day than I've ever made in a week. You know, it's this game that Boozer and I used to play before we rode out of Lost Lake for good. We used to call it, uh, Who You Were. You know, we'd look at someone, we'd try to guess who they were before the shit went down, you know. You know, I met a few drug addicts, a lot of ex-cons, uh, no accountants. So, that makes sense if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the shit went down, I mean, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil pusher lived through that shit, so I don't know, maybe Schizo's telling the truth. <sighs> I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but... That, that ain't happening anytime soon, or, or happening ever. Uh, hey, <laughs> look on the bright side. Looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you. Fuel. Oh, there we go. 